Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you are doing well, and, these incels are mad. I'm telling you, they are mad. So, without further ado, let's get right to business. So, let's talk about these men who claim that they're going to get their passports and go over to these other countries looking for younger women for submission. Let's talk about that. Number one, they're watching the internet just like we are. They know why a lot of black men are going over there. So they know what your mission is. If you think that you're just gonna go over there and spread your seed all over the place and leave them single baby mamas the way that you do here in America, I promise you the men will send your ass back to America in a box. Okay. One, her hairs are fake. Two, her hairline is receding, which can mean two things. Either she is balding or she has had way too much work done on her head that her hairs are bailing out. 3. Her eyebrows and eyelashes are fake, obviously. 4. The makeup on her face is the kind of makeup you put on, in order to hide wrinkles. If I can guesstimate, I will say that she's easily in her late 40s early 50s. 5. She has long, well-done nails, with such nails it highly likely that she doesn't do any manual work. You know, cooking, cleaning, laundry. 6. She is disagreeable, and has a condescending attitude. 7. She has a chest tattoo which can mean that she likes to show her balcony and that it is likely that she has other tattoos in areas that are not meant for everybody's eyes. That being said, yes, they are watching the internet and yes, they know why black men are coming into their countries. And believe me, they understand why men are leaving the US. For full disclosure, your face and attitude is part of why. Men who spread their seed all over the place and make single baby mamas out of American women are either in jail or there are working the corners for back alley big pharma. And last but not least, she talked about submission right out of the bat, which means she has a problem with hierarchy and authority. Men who are going overseas most of them are going for financial reasons, academic, and for the human experience. There's this movement of men showing off their passports and saying that they're gonna go to other countries to find women. If you feel like you have to go to an impoverished nation uh, and you have to find women who will do anything for citizenship, even marry you, um, good luck. Here comes another disrespectful walking mouthpiece. Why is it that these incels always assume that women outside of the US are poor? I get it, you are mad but mad to the point of insulting an entire country that you know nothing about is just sad. These men talking about, they leaving and go overseas. They don't want to date these women over here. I tell you what, black men, go ahead. Because the women over there, they're not gonna treat you the same. That woman gonna put something on you. You better, you better be careful. You over here cheating on these women, lying on these women, hitting these women. You ain't gonna be able to do it over there. So go over there, go fly, go get your ticket, bye. Oh, that's new, bootleg Derek Johnson over here. And yes, they are going to put some on them. And for your information, the men who do that don't need to leave the U.S. They are too busy entertaining American women. And the men who are not cheaters, women beater, and sexually irresponsible thugs are the ones leaving because they can't deal with women who find pleasure in dysfunction. And, just so you know, shaming passport bros will not help you get laid. So today I'm talking to you about this trend that men, Western men, are looking overseas to other countries for women because the women in Western culture have been poisoned by toxic femininity. They are militant with their feminist ways. They can't even appreciate a compliment from a nice gentleman. You see, you say, hey, beautiful to me, and I'm gonna wink and smile. But these girls can't handle that. So men are going overseas to find love. Where in the world are they going? Is it Indonesia? Is it South America? Where are men going? Fellas, know that women have an own group bias. A woman will choose another woman over a man, even if she is the problem. Is she genuine? I don't know. But one thing is sure. I don't judge women based on what they say, but I do judge them based on what they do. More precisely, what they did. Black men, black men, black men. 
Um, I hate to bust your bubble and I hate to break your delusion, but these women overseas don't want y'all. They want the Chris Browns. They want the Trey Songs. They want the black men that have money. Let me tell you what y'all do. Y'all pretend to be executives. You pretend like you have money. And so because they only see the majority of black folks on camera, y'all go over there with these fake Louis Vuitton bags and these Jordans and your U.S. dollars and you go over there and you act like you have some money. No, you are the one who want those kind of men. But the problem is, you can't get them. What is even worse, the men that you consider to be lower than them don't want you either. So here you are on social media trying to discourage and shame men. Are they men out there who are total posers? Yes, but the fact in the matter is, they refuse to pose for you. And when posers go abroad, they deal with the ladies of the night. Yeah, this you can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. No, unlike the men you are attracted to, I have never wondered if the feds are watching me. And you know why? Because I'm not into shady businesses. This, this is just sad. First they called passport bros insecure, and then broke, and then uglies who can't get women in the West, and then minor attracted people, and now human traffickers. This is just sad. Black men, how can black women show that they love you? Um, just stay out of our way, you know. Um... Y'all remember seeing those videos, those passport gang videos? You know, talking about, I got my passport. Um, anybody seen any videos of them at the airport? Because I haven't seen any. I mean, I ain't seen nobody, you know, boarding a plane saying bon voyage or adios or anybody seen any of those videos from the passport gang? Anybody need a ride to the airport? I'm charging a low, low fee, low, low fee gas prices. That's all. Just a fee for the gas. It is clear that this woman has never been abroad. In most Asian countries, you are not allowed to record in the airport. From getting out of the plane, to dealing with customs and immigration, you are not allowed to record. And, thanks, but no thanks. An Uber will be just fine. This just shows that these women are desperate. Yes, men are leaving. This is the same women who will not hesitate to turn down any decent man who comes their way. Calling men all kinds of names and whatnot. And when men leave and go their own way, they take to social media and yap about it, insult and shame. You are strong and independent women. Act like it. Mind your own business. And let men live their lives. It is as if seeing men happy. Make these women go through some sort of torture or something. You know what? Yes, these women genuinely get physically hurt when they see men happy. That will be all guys. Like, comment, share, and a sub to the channel will cause excruciating pain to those women. Have a great day and peace.